My Philly story is about discovery and being given the most precious gift that helped me along the way. First, I'll show you my new location, down by one of our creeks. You can hear it trickling along. So I thought it was a nice, peaceful place to tell a short story. I'm sorry if you got a bit seasick there. The seasick is part of it, really. I'm 46 now, and when I just turned 27, I ran away from the UK to Australia. I just lost someone very dear to me, and I came to Australia trying to figure out what to do with my life, not happy to give it to a corporate world any longer. Within five months, I'd met, married, my husband of 20 years, Noel, and moved to Australia permanently. The biggest problem I had, I didn't think I had much to offer. I was quite shy, unworldly girl. And it was Noel that gave me the greatest gift to set me on my journey to discover what I had to offer. Noel allowed me to be me. He didn't judge me, criticise me, put me down. He's given me nothing but support and he's made me realise that actually I do have something to offer. We've travelled the world together for most of our 20 years. We sailed around the world on a small timber boat called Mariah and I wrote about that. So if I just hold the camera steady that's our nine years on board, sailing around the world, or for and build. We then bought another sailboat, sold the first one, and did a journey from America to Australia, visiting Pitcairn, Easter Island. I wrote about that too. This is it. Two years on board, sailing the Pacific. Our next adventure involved horses, a real passion of mine. We trekked part of Australia's Bicentennial National Trail, which is about 5,000 kilometres long. We didn't do it all for many different reasons, but it was an extraordinary journey of horses we adopted, transforming our lives and transforming their own. A standard journey, our five standard bred horses. A warts and all book. Having learned a lot, I also produced a practical book, Cruises AA, all about living on board a boat, navigation, any, everything you could need. I couldn't have written these books without Noel, his encouragement and his support. So that's my fearless story, discovering who I am, that actually, yes, I do have something to offer, and having someone to support me the entire way. The hardest part about the discovery, finding out what I'm going to do with my life and my abilities, I think is just having the courage. And if you find someone to help you find that courage, well that's very precious. Of course I learned a lot about myself and that was what the discovery was about finding out that yes, I can actually stand up in public and give talks, something I really enjoy doing. I can teach. I can become a maritime skipper commercially and teach that subject too. I can write books, I can publish books. Life itself. I don't have enough time to do everything I want. I want to feel and experience every moment I have. So that keeps me going, keeps me motivated. I'm running out of time every day. Well, you can hear it in the background. You've seen a bit of it. I have my horses back. Life's great. I'm working harder than ever, but I'm working at what I want to do.
a lot of advice out there. Surround yourself with good people. People who are not afraid to be honest with you, but do so in a constructive way. People that don't judge you just for the sake of judging you, that support you and guide you. It could be someone you know or someone you've met on social media. Yes, you can have relationships that are valuable on social media. Well, there's a few. I think my main one is be an encourager because there are far too many critics in the world already. The other, of course, is choose happiness. It is, it is a decision in life to be happy and to be positive. It's up to you what you focus on. It's up to you what you take on board with comments and judgments. So in all you do, I hope you find a happy life and enjoy what you're doing because I'm not sure how you're successful if you're not enjoying what you're doing. And I wish you fair winds and following seas. Have a look at my uh, websites and emails on this website and stop by and say good day.